Alright, what's up y'all? Today we're here with the Team Builder and Battle for Week 8 of the PCP Pokemon Community Players Draft League. Never gets any fucking shorter, does it? Jesus. But, uh, we go against Dan, and Dan's been around since Season 1. We've battled a time or two. Uh, I beat him pretty good last season, and then, uh, we had a very interesting... I'm sure you remember the, uh, the Yakety Sax fucking battle but that was week uh, one for me and that's also the week that I got a copyright infringement for using that fucking theme song but that was worth it that was totally worth it but we go against Dan again today and uh, he's made some changes to his team and even though he is called the Dallas Stallers he has made some more offensive uh, presences on his team he has Megalodios, Chansey, ugh, Mimikyu, Lucario, Sableye, ugh, Glycopod, Aerodactyl, Bronzong, uh, Turtonator, Avalug, and Dusclops. Ugh. But, uh, yeah, I think, I think I built a pretty good team. It's not usually my style, like, I'm more of a balance or bulky offense kind of guy, but, you know, I decided I beat everybody once, so we're gonna go, these last three battles, we're gonna bring some wacky shit. You know, I, I drafted a, I, it's a pretty good team, but it definitely has some wackiness to it with, you know, Mega Pedro and whatnot. So, I just want everybody to get their fair chance of screen time, you know, so... Basically, I decided that I wanted to try to set up and sweep him with Salamence this week, since uh, Mence hasn't really done very much. So, tried to go around that. Now, as you can see by Dan's team, which has popped up ages ago by now, for surely, uh, he does have a bit of a trick room kind of thing going on, but he also has basically the other half of his team, which is also very fast and offensive as well. So, um... I'm predicting him to bring more of an offensive team, for sure. Obviously, like, I wouldn't bring an offensive team if I didn't think he was going to, but, uh, he just, Lucario just completely dicks my team, like, for real. Once I run out of Intimidate Mons, especially if he has, like, Ice Punch, then I'm just, I'm just fucked. Uh, it just completely runs through me, so basically I have to set up before the Lucario can get SD up, is kind of my mindset going here, so... Uh, good old LB, just to start, thing off, start things off, U-turn, uh, knock off, poison jab, just with a little bit of uh, defensive investment, just to make sure I'm not killed by first impression plus aqua jet, but protect is also there. I know the whole point of drafting him this season was to get that move slot back, but this time, it, you know, the old set, the old set works. We're going Aorus drill in this one. So, yeah, just U-turn for momentum, uh, it really is good versus his team, just getting that momentum on everything, uh, a lot of things are weak to it as well, plus knockoff to get rid of those pesky Eviolites, and uh, poison jab just for poison stab. Ah. Then next we have uh, Sigalith, which this thing is just basically here is, it, you know, it's a no shit button, but uh, this week I slapped Protect and Whirlwind and Air Slash on it, just, well, not all of those weren't supposed to be grouped together like that, but Whirlwind and Protect are on it just in case I need to, uh, stall out some trick room or something, I can always go into this guy, take a hit, and if it doesn't knock me down to my sash, or, uh, I think if, if it knocks me down to, like, like, 15 hit points or something, then, uh, Sylveon's Wish will still bring it back up, so I'm not really too worried about the Magic Guard Focus Sash this game, I can use this mod a little more expendably than usual, because Dam doesn't have very many, like, sweepers, so, yeah. Then we have Hitmontop. on top which is basically just classic hip on top shit, you know, just spinning, getting Rocky Helmet. Uh, just enough defensive EVs to live either uh, like a first impression and a liquidation or two liquidations or basically no matter what he clicks, this thing is taking two with something with the Intimidate. So, uh, Toxic because obviously you have a Dust Clops on your team and you see him on top, you're switching into that like every time. 10 out of 10 would switch in. So we'll just slip the Toxic, slap the Toxic on there, and also we have the Foresight, just in case I it, I do like really need to spin or something, then I can get the guaranteed spin off, but uh, that's pretty much this guy. He's uh, no priority, which is it's a little iffy, I usually try to run like at least a Mach Punch or something, but oh well. Then we have probably my favorite set of the team, honestly. It's uh, kind of a like a wall-breaking Sylveon, just because... oh wall stall breaking kinda I guess just because he can sit there and uh, wish and heal bell and then just because I didn't want him to be passive I took off baton pass which broke my fucking heart I love me some momentum Sylveon and I slapped on calm mind just so if I did like last game I played Dan 
Sylveon sat in front of his entire fucking team and just stalled everything out. And if I would have just calm minded up, I would have just won. So, in that, I kind of just decided to just stick calm mind on this guy. It kind of gives me a secondary win con. Uh, if Mince doesn't work out, as well as letting me. Uh, he likes to run red card mimic you, so. I do want to, if I can get that red card out of the way, then obviously that'll be helpful. So I wanted to bring two setup sweepers this week. Kinda, he's not really a sweeper, you know. But two things that will make him waste his red card, basically. And then heal bell, because toxic spam, wish, just, you know, to help out the team and whatnot. And hyper voice, just because when the Eevee Lights knocked off Chansey, as well as, uh, what's it called? If Bronzong is just a little bit weakened, I had two hit KO it every day of the week. And I'm actually... Uh, seven speed that just makes I believe that makes me outspeed Glycopod, but just by one point. So then I take the the I can't even fucking talk. What am I even doing? So I take the smallest amount possible from the gyro ball because I think last time it was doing like 30%, which is still easily wished off. But if I can get that down to as minimal as possible, it'd be fucking great. Because we are max defense, and that's pretty much Sylveon. I think I think it's gonna put in quite the work. And then we got Jeremy Jam here, the uh, the setup sweeper we got in the back. So, Roselli Berry halves the damage from a fairy type attack. Just because if I wasn't able to, like, I want to go ahead and break the Mimikyu's red card, right? But, um, it's still, if I can't kill it once its sub's been broken or disguised, whatever, then I, I want to be able to uh, set up on it, basically, because it's not a very strong Pokemon and its bulk isn't necessarily the greatest either. So if I can just live a hit and then, uh, like, live a play rough, even if he's plus two, I'll still live. And then I get a D-Dance up, I will outspeed. Shadow Sneak does, like, 17% to me. It's, like, fucking nothing. And I believe that's his only priority on his team, unless he brings the Cario, of course. And, uh, yeah, after one D-Dance and one Moxie kill, I two-hit KO his entire fucking team. And Substitute just gives me, like, you know, Predict a Toxic or whatever, it gives me that free turn. So basically if I can keep the sub up and get to plus one, I should two hit KO everything on his team. And we should be good to go. Shadow Claw just for Dust Clops as well as, uh, just so I can have something to hit Mimikyu with. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Bronzong as well. Actually, that actually really helps with Bronzong. But yeah, so hopefully, uh, Jeremy Jam here can jam his way into... Dan, I guess? Uh, that's weird. But then we got, uh, <laughs> we got Iceum Z Amistar, which, I don't know, it's kind of a bad set, honestly, it's not the greatest, but it's so wacky, I have to bring it, I fucking love Amistar, oh my god. So, we got the knockoff, I think it'll be, I think I'll have a good chance to knock off at least one of his Aviolite, like once I reveal knockoff, obviously he probably won't bring in the other Eevee Light user, but I think I can at least get a sneaky knockoff on one of them. And if I can get it off on Chansey, that's going to help with Sylveon so fucking much. Then we got Rocks, of course. I was debating between T-Spikes and knockoff, but I think knockoff will be more useful in the end. And, uh, you know, Rocks, just because he has a Glycopod as well as an Avalug and everything, nothing wants to take Rocks damage, but he does have a lot of stuff that's weak to it, as well as Terminator and Aerodactyl. So, fun fact. And then Scald, you know, just to get Barons and whatnot, and uh, the Z Haze. With the Iceum Z, it actually does a regular Haze, plus brings you back up to full health. So, this Pokemon that doesn't have reliable cover reliable recovery, all of a sudden has recovery. It's not reliable, like, it's not that great, but I, uh, when I'm max defense, I am not too hit KO'd by a plus two Mimikyu. So, yeah, we got we got plenty of stuff. Uh, yeah, let's just... Let's just Get in the battle, you know, let's just do it. Right, so here we are with the battle, and as you can see, he did not bring Lucario, which immediately I was like, fuck, thank you, helps out a lot. But then I kind of grasped what his team was, which is basically <laughs> wish passing into four bulky ass things. And I Avala gets recovered, so that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Uh, gotta break that disguise on Mimikyu, and we gotta get rocks up and get some helmet damage off on that Golisopod to keep it uh, keep it from coming in as much as it would like to. So, yeah, we got the whole fucking squad jumps in here. We're we're ready to go. Let's do it. Uh, I just went ahead and let off right with the Amistar. Fuck it, we can just trade rocks or whatever. It'll be good to go. I'll start scalding, and if I can, uh, if I can, I thought like I could get the burn. And then make him want to go into Blissey to like aromatherapy or toxic mirror or whatever. 
but uh, and then I can knock it off his Violet, which would be nice. And he does indeed bring in the Chansey, so I get a Scald. Uh, actually, does 10%, which isn't bad. So I believe he was indeed like max defense, max HP. And but I got the Violet knocked off. Scald this guy doesn't do enough. Get the burn, and then he gets all that shit back. But at least he can't hurt me anymore, really. Uh, go ahead and knock off, and he reveals that he is not an item. I thought maybe he'd be like a Culberberry, maybe for like a knockoff from Beedrill or something, but. He reveals himself to be the Z-move, but he's shown uh, Trick Room, Earthquake, Toxic, and Stealth Rock already. So, he, I don't know, I was kind of in the battle, I was thinking maybe Z-Trick Room was a thing, like, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I wasn't quite sure with that, but we know, oh, he's kind of weakened. So then, yeah, I'm, I'm sitting here against the Chansey, like I knew I was going to be, the Violet's knocked off, I start setting up Calm Minds, I don't really give a shit, frankly. Like, <laughs> I'm just gonna just keep clicking Calm Mind until I thought just made- no, I, that was- this is later, but yeah, so I just started setting up Calm Minds. Uh, like I said, even Bronzong does not do enough, so I get it. hold on, let me go back to that turn, because that was kind of important. He's in with Bronzong, um, and like I said, he loves to run red card, so I wanted to just fire off a Hyper Voice, and that would probably do like 30 to 40 percent. But if I can just get this thing weakened to where when it comes back in, I can at least knock it out when I'm further boosted up, and that would be something, right? So, I figured he thinks I would fire it off, go for a Calm Mind, and I thought he would just sack the Disguise right now. So I just went ahead and I was like, you know what, fuck it, if I'm going to be sent out into something next turn, then I'll just wish up, and then whatever I come into will be taking a wish on the way back in, like if Salamence takes Brock's damage or something. But, it doesn't exactly uh, work out like that, because I went into Sigalyph, and I'm already at max health, so that fucking sucked. And then, I make a misplay, and I was still thinking that the wish was in the air. It was fucking stupid, but it didn't work out the way I planned, so I just immediately started going on tilt, and was like, Shit, I'm gonna start health, now! And that does not work out, and, uh, yeah. No, no good. So, that's done. Then I calped it, and Beedrill does a minimum of, like, 92 with Poison Jab to Offensive Mimic Cube. Which at this point in the match, I think it was safe to assume that he was. Turns out, this motherfucker Dan brought like, max defense fucking Mimic you, and just clean takes out Beedrill. So for the first time this season, Beedrill just gets the shit knocked out of him, and man, I can hear Luke Bryan in the background just cursing my name right now, he's gonna be pissed. But I know I can live with uh, Sylveon, and I can get the kill, and at that point, I probably should have just gone to Sigalyph and just whirlwinded him out and dealt with him later. But, again, was still kind of tilting a little bit. Decided, fuck it, let's uh, let's sack our Wincon. <laughs> so luckily he doesn't like crit me with a Shadow Claw or something. I don't even know if he had Shadow Claw, but... No, he did. But, uh, uh, thankfully he doesn't crit us and we live. And now, my Wincon is at less than half health and I, he has rocks on me. And I'm racking my fucking brain about how we're going to heal that back up because it's only recovery is wish which has to come from it so i don't know luckily i do have a switch right into hitmontop i can get the intimidate he reveals the uh the aqua jet here which i thought was kind of funny and it does a bit of a lot so yeah he's orb and he gets the emergency exit immediately which is cool so he's gonna come back in at like 26 percent so that'll be dope goes into that guy hard toxic whatever he gets up the trick room again uh, if there's one thing that I do want to be out in front of everything when there's Trick Room up, I guess it should be him on top. Kinda sucks that I'm poisoned or whatever, but... Fuck it. So then I just go for the Rapid Spin. Now, Golisopod is in and it outspeeds me, and I'm pretty sure he can kill me with a Liquidation. But, rather than, uh, just leaving in him on top, since I had already spun away the rocks, and, I don't know, just kind of sacking that, I decided to go to my other win con and just let that take damage, and then I expected him to switch out, but I didn't think about the fact that he would die to life orb and I wouldn't get the moxie kill, so I was like, okay, well at least here I can hit him with a dragon claw or something, and then, uh, you know, get my moxie boost, and then he'll send in probably like Bronzong or Chansey or something, maybe even Avalug, I can hopefully sub up on that, and then, uh, you know, whatever. But, that's not what happens. He fucking dies to orb. I don't even get my moxie boost. And now Jam's sitting over here at 27%. Which, you kind of have to note, that is still in motherfucking substitute range, right? So, he just goes right ahead and gets his fucking spin off. And I figured, I couldn't take the chance of him avalanching. Like, I can't 
I just can't let this thing die. Uh, I looked hard. This thing does not get ice shard. Thank fuck. That would have sucked. But so we just go birder here, and then I double out, predicting him to go to uh, yeah, predicting him to go to Dusclops. I pulled a double, seeing this as my opportunity to heal up Sylveon, since I haven't seen him really go for an attacking move. So I figured worst case scenario is like Nightshade or some shit, but I didn't see him go for it. So he might have even revealed all four moves by this point if I remember correctly. I don't know, but. I go for the Wish, he goes for the Toxic. Thank god, no Seismic Toss, or whatever, Nightshade. So at least I can heal this thing up, and then I can start setting up Calm Minds again, because the Sturdy's broken, you die at plus 6, you're 2 hit KO'd, and Blissey is also, or Chansey is also 2 hit KO'd at plus 2. So, or at plus 6. So, this is my time. You know, I'm back at full, I'm fucking Calm Minding all the way up. I thought maybe I could kill the, uh, kill the Dust Cops on the Switch in so it wouldn't get the full Wish back. Just maybe. But, uh, yeah, doesn't happen. <laughs> Again, if I could have knocked off this fucking Evilite. So he's gonna Toxic me. I have revealed Aromatherapy or Heal Bell or whatever it is. But he goes for the Toxic, I guess just wanting me to waste that turn. I just keep going for Calm Minds. Uh, I know Toxic damage isn't gonna do too much, but I do have to get it out of the way eventually. He just kind of spams Toxic, which was weird. Uh, I guess he just wanted me to be toxic again or something? I don't know. Or maybe he's just trying to stall me out of heal bells. That that was also a likely scenario. But I'm just calm minding up, and he goes for the trick room. So let's see, right? So I'm at I can't see because of the fucking bar, but I'm at like that much health, whatever percent that is. I'm at a good amount of health. I'm over half. Uh, I do note that he still has the Z move, but it has to be Z earthquake or some status bullshit that I don't care about. Calc it, Z earthquake does not come fucking close to putting me within toxic range. So I didn't really care. But, Bronzong had another fucking plan that it was going to crit me and do 40. Granted, I was predicting the Z move, but I wasn't sure what. Again, I was thinking maybe it was some fucking other weird shit. I don't know. But, I just went ahead and went for the Calm Mind, thinking that I would eat that and then could, uh, you know, wish up an Aromatherapy next turn and the next turn after that. But he crits me, and now I am in range to die to Toxic and Earthquakes and all that bullshit. And again, the crit fucking just ruined that whole fucking thing I had going with Sylvie on there. But I probably should have just had a wish in the air if I was predicting that the Earthquake or whatever. It, I don't know, it was just shitty, you know? Fucking Z moves are always hard to tell what you're gonna have, but that time I knew, so it was just fucked up that it still, like, fucked me right in the butt, even though <laughs> I didn't have, or I, I knew it was a Z move. So he just goes into Chansey. Uh, we missed some shit. At this point, I'm just frantically trying to think. I don't have reliable recovery anymore. He does. The only way I'm winning this is if I can get enough Dragon Dances and if he's not Rocky Helmet Avalug. So I'm hoping just maybe he was like specially defensive Avalug. And just maybe if I can just D-Dance up enough times that I can just... Uh, yeah, if I can just D-Dance up one time... I thought also I could 2-hit KO him here, rather than him breaking my sub and me uh, not 2-hit KOing him, because I get the Moxie boost anyways. So I hadn't revealed Shadow Claw yet, so that would be dope, because maybe he would go into like Dusclops or something before Blissey, and I could get that Shadow Claw off. But as it turns out, he is indeed max defense, looks like, with Rocky Helmet. Uh, wasn't a 2-hit KO, but that was my last hope at that point. So now... Uh, it's the whole differential thing, you know? But we're 50 turns in. He's got me, you know? He has reliable recovery. He has wish support. He has fucking <laughs> heal bell support. I don't think without hacks I can take out any of his Pokemon. So, you know what? I think we'll just, we'll just do it again. And with that, that is, uh, that's the battle. So I fucking lost. That sucks. I'm 7-1 and one now, which sounds a lot worse than 8-0. and oh. But, you know what? Uh, Hobby, Hobby was, Hobby was in, not, he was in the vicinity, you know, whenever I was battling and shit. And 
he told me, uh, you know, I needed to stay humble anyways. Anyways, so, I guess, whatever. Uh, I just hope I get to play Dan again, honestly, because I know I can beat him, but I just kind of got a little too full of myself on that one. So, hopefully he can make it to final, or, uh, I guess it'd be semis that I would play him in, if all goes to plan. So, hopefully he can do that and we can get a nice rematch going, because I think we can have ourselves a really good game. But he did beat me on this one. Good game to fucking Dan. You deserved it. That was well played. Uh, yeah, I think I made I made the plays I needed to. I think there was a couple like doubles in there and whatnot that were... I don't know. I was just trying to keep myself in the game. You know, like, I don't know. I took the chances I needed to and whatnot, but you definitely did good as well. Uh, better, really. So, yeah, with that, that's going to just about do it. Hopefully I don't get another copyright claim. Actually, I think I, have a, I think I have a solution for that. So, thank you all for watching, and uh, also, I guess, I'll be grieving for the next week or so, so just keep me in your prayers and stuff, and we'll, we'll try to bounce back. You know, we'll try to bounce back. <laughs> Alright. Bye forever.